Let's take a road to anywhere You bring the map, I'll get us there I'll get us there We were meant for something more Than just a small town metaphor I knew from the very moment I saw you climbing out of your car on the beach that there was something special about you. It wasn't the fact that you still went through with the first date, even though I had to call you to tell you my card had been suspended due to fraudulent activity. <laughs> Today my life is forever entangled with yours. Your dreams are my dreams. Your goals are my goals. I promise to love you for who you are and for who you are to become. I promise to be patient and remember that all things between us are rooted in love. We will fear no rain, for we are each other's shelter. We will fear no cold, for we are each other's warmth. Two people now sharing one journey. One day when we are old and gray, sitting on our front porch, we'll look back and smile on this day. Where in front of family and friends it all began. I am hers and she is mine. From this day until my last day. Matt, today I stand here making the easiest decision of my life to become your wife. The last four years have been incredible. You have been by my side encouraging me to be a better version of myself. I look forward to our celebrations and to getting through the trials that life will inevitably send us. And with that, I vow to laugh and cry with you, to balance your funny with my seriousness, and to accept that it's actually not that easy to get the laundry in the basket. I, I promise to always pursue you, to fight for you, and to love you wholeheartedly and unconditionally for the rest of our lives. Tara, I give you this ring. Tara, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Matt. Matt. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am, and with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. I am proud to pronounce as pastor, and as sister, and new sister-in-law, <laughs> <laughs> that in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I pronounce you husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Matt, you may now kiss my sister. I joy to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Matthew and Tara Cruz. Oh, your time isn't done. We'll keep fighting till the day is won. We'll keep moving on When the sun rises We'll carry on Carry on Hope Need a little to believe You can be everything You wanted to be Oh No matter what comes We'll make a stand We'll carry on What have we been waiting for since they said they do? Welcome Matt and Tara, Mr. and Mrs. Cruz, for their first dance.
Matt. I want to officially welcome you to our family. We have gained a brother-in-law. And even though we are your mom and dad-in-law, we don't expect you to call us mom and dad because we can never, ever, ever replace your mom and dad. But we are here to support you. And we are here to help you and Tara along with anything you need. And if Tara is ever out of control, can <laughs> text me four times a day if you need to. That's it. I'm cutting you off after four texts. Does anyone know? No, no, no. Tara, I see how you bring out the best in Matt, and I see how you two bring out the best in each other. Um, I love how I've seen you guys encourage and motivate each other and how you've grown individually um, as you've grown closer together. Matt and Tara, your patience, guidance, humility, and humor are what make the two of you so compatible with each other. Life isn't perfect, but you both manage to keep each other grounded, even in the most stressful situations. Like a pandemic, <laughs> buying a house, replanning a wedding in three months, and having to deal with some very, very bumpy driveways along the way. Now, when I was born, she was on the way driving to the hospital to greet me. Uh, she was so excited to have a baby sister that <laughs> she bought me a balloon, but it flew out the window of the car. I think you were with Grandpa, right? You were with Grandpa, and it flew out the car, and every time she would always talk about losing the balloon and being so sad for losing it. So, with pictures and videos going, made it be noted that I'm the better sister because I am bringing you a balloon and I am not going to lose it or let it fly away. And may you guys hold on to each other as tightly, even tighter, than Tara held on to the balloon. <laughs>